More information is pouring in about the destruction left in the wake of a 7.0 magnitude earthquake that hit Haiti Tuesday afternoon. We're on the phone now with Mark Lacey, who is in Mexico City and will be heading to Haiti later today. Um, Mark, we've, we're hearing, of course, thousands dead, hospitals collapsed, even the palace has collapsed. Uh, what kind of details do you have at this hour? Well, we're, the situation this morning, it's, it's worse than anyone could have imagined. There still are not um, firm numbers as to how many people have died, how many people have been injured. But the reports we're getting from Haiti have um, casual, a vast number of casualties that are believed to be in the thousands. There are wounded people walking through the streets. There are people seeking medical attention. Hospitals have been closed. Patients have been moved out into tents. There's still moans and cries coming out of um, the rubble. It's a, it's a horrible scene. Mark, is there any evidence of any medical aid there at all now? Yes. The Doctors Without Borders uh, provides medical care and supplements the Haitian public hospitals. They're on the scene but their facilities have suffered damage. They're sending in scores of m more doctors, and, and they, they say they, can, they, they can't keep up with the, with the need, that it's just a tremendous demand for first aid. Uh, um, any evidence of any other outside aid coming in from the Red Cross or, or equipment being airlifted in? Is there any sign of that yet? We're, we're getting a barrage with reports of, of aid that's planning to go in. Um, the airport in Port-au-Prince suffered damage. The, the control tower did. It's still believed to be open, but I don't know yet whether aid is landing yet in Port-au-Prince, but it's certainly on its way. The Coast Guard is sending cutters to the area. Now, I know there have been many, many aftershocks, some of them quite large, um, following this quake. Are you hearing more about increasing damage, or does it seem like what's happened now has happened? Basically, what we're, what we're hearing is that the, the major damage has been done. Um, what we don't know at this point is how far this damage extends outside mm. of the overcrowded capital. Most of the population of Haiti lives outside of Port-au-Prince. These were strong um, quakes and aftershocks, and it's believed that the damage will extend into villages and towns far from Port-au-Prince and possibly throughout the country. So that's what we don't know. We have no idea at this point. The country um, is closed off. Roads are, are, are cut off. Uh, bridges are believed to be down. Um, communications are horrible. So we, we, we lack a lot of information, but we know it's it's, it's a devastating earthquake and a real humanitarian tragedy there. Is there any sense that the government there is functioning at all and can, um, you know, do anything to help? We, we've actually heard from the president. He, he spoke to the Miami Herald this morning, and, and he called the damage unimaginable. His residence, the presidential palace, was uh, severely damaged. That, and that's one of the major symbols of authority in Haiti. It's one, the presidency is one of the institutions that, that is, it works to some degree in the country. But the parliament was damaged. All sorts of government ministries were damaged. This, this government barely functions in regular times. Now people don't have offices. So this is a country without uh, a great deal of authority. It's a country that's just sort of winging it right now, and it's a country in a, in a great deal of need.